Yes, now India has come up with an astounding improvement in its humanoid robot sector, and this might prove to be a revolutionary one in the robotics field. Why? Let's see in today's episode. Hey folks, and welcome back once again. What are you guys waiting for? Like, share, and subscribe. Of course, robotics is the new darling for ISRO's space program, and you can see that from Viomitra. Yes, this is the latest half-humanoid robot developed in India. The India Space Research Organization, or ISRO, has devised the first human spaceflight program slated for 2022 for its ambitious Gaganyan mission. As a result, the Viametra robot will carry out all crew tasks such as environmental and life support system monitoring. To provide a smooth experience, the robot has been taught to be multilingual and engineered to appear like a human, complete with an expressive face and lip-sync capabilities for vocal conversation. That's not all. Viamitra may also imitate specific astronaut poses, which are important during takeoff and launch. It's intended not only to collect data during test flights, which will be used to make correct mission-related decisions, but also to operate switch panels to control the capsule. Researchers are also striving to make it more human-like, so that Viamitra can converse with other astronauts. That's better to have a live companion along the trip, isn't it? Why don't we take a deeper look into Viamitra's space job? ISRO named the robot Viomitra from Vioma, which translates to space, and Mitra, which is friend. The functions of a humanoid, like those of any other robot, are determined by the computer systems to which it is linked. With the advancement of artificial intelligence and robotics, humanoids are increasingly being employed for monotonous duties such as that of restaurant servers. The artificial intelligence technologies that enable current systems like self-driving vehicles or voice-activated systems like Alexa, Siri, Google Assistant, Cortana, and Bixby are expanded into a humanoid to perform simple duties like walking, manipulating objects, talking, and obeying orders. Another important question here is, why is ISRO developing a humanoid? As we said earlier, ISRO intends to launch a human into space for the first time by 2022. It's a race against time to create a crew module and rocket systems that will assure the Indian astronauts safe trip and return. Other countries that have successfully sent humans into space have done so after testing their rockets and crew recovery systems using animals, but ISRO will utilize the humanoid to test the capabilities of its GSLV Mark III rocket to take a human to space and back. The humanoid was developed at the Vikram Sarabhai Space Center's robotic department. ISRO's GSLV Mark III rocket is now undergoing modifications to guarantee that it's human-rated or safe to take a human to space. It's intended to launch its maiden unmanned trip with the human-rated rocket in December 2020. The crew module system is also being developed, and ISRO plans to conduct numerous tests over the next several months to launch and retrieve the module, using new test launch rockets that are also being developed. ISRO has extensive expertise in developing robotic systems for its space endeavors. A great example of this was the Vikram lander system, which was at the heart of the September 2019 Chandrayaan-2 mission to the moon, analyzing distances, speeds, and processing orders stored in the lander systems as the lander attempted to descend to the surface of an orbit around the moon. Once in space, ISRO's half-humanoid will be able to test equipment in the crew's module designed to ensure the survival and safe passage of India's first astronaut in 2022. Let's keep all of that aside and see what the tasks that Viamitra will perform in space are. By the way, do you recall the film Interstellar? You, who wouldn't, right? TARS, the artificial intelligence and robotics-powered computer system that talks to astronauts, supports them in mission duties, and even saves them in times of danger. This one was a prominent character in the science fiction film Interstellar, which was basically about space and time travel. TARS was a robotic system with outstanding capabilities, but definitely not a humanoid. The Viametra humanoid, which will lay the groundwork for human spaceflight, will be a stripped-down version of a TARS-type artificial intelligence and robotics system. Once built for the unmanned mission, Viamitra will be able to conduct processes for using equipment on board the spacecraft's crew module, such as safety mechanisms and switches, as well as receiving and acting on orders transmitted from the ground stations. The humanoid's tasks include maintaining launch and orbital postures, responding to the environment, producing alerts, refilling carbon dioxide canisters, controlling switches, monitoring the crew module, accepting voice orders, and replying via speech. 
Viamitra, who already has a human-like appearance, will have her lip movements synchronized to simulate speech. She can also serve as an artificial companion to an astronaut, offering voice inputs on issues like spacecraft health during the launch, landing, and orbital stages of a manned mission. Viamitra will also communicate back to Earth on changes in the crew module that occur during the voyage and return, like heat radiation levels, to help ISRO understand the safety standards necessary in the crew module that would eventually launch a human passenger. So yeah, somewhat like TARS. So that's all about a revolutionary device from India, but have other countries also come up with such an idea? Well, yes. In fact, there have been several space trips with fake astronauts. Many have also included humanoid robots such as Via Mitra. In March 2019, a mannequin named Ripley was flown in the Dragon crew capsule launched on a SpaceX Falcon rocket and carried to the International Space Station. Ripley was outfitted with sensors to record pressures experienced during a space trip as part of SpaceX's preparations to launch a human into orbit for NASA in 2020. Airbus placed an artificial intelligence robot called Simon, which stands for Crew Interactive Mobile Companion, aboard the International Space Station. JAXA Space Agency launched Intball, a floating camera robot, into the International Space Station. Also, the European Space Agency's Descent and Exploration in Deep Autonomy of Lunar Underground Structures, or Daedalus, may resemble a hamster ball. But it's outfitted with a stereoscopic camera, temperature sensors, a radiation dosimeter, and along with that, a 3D mapping LiDAR device. The gadget was developed as part of an ESA research on lunar cave exploration by a team from the University of Würzburg. The ESA believes that the caverns on the moon's surface will be protected from radiation, scorching temperatures, and small meteorites, allowing it to learn more about the lunar surface. A lengthy line is used to drop the robot into the cave's entrance, and it will be able to navigate thanks to 3D LiDAR and stereo camera vision autonomously. Aside from all of these advantages, such advances will have far-reaching consequences. Will this lead to an increase in chatbots and virtual assistants in the next years? Automation is already being used by businesses to increase the productivity of repetitive manual processes like data input and collation. This capability, though, is a double-edged sword. On the one hand, it reduces the need for human intervention, allowing experts to focus on more creative tasks. On the other hand, task automation can totally replace its human operator. According to the World Economic Forum analysis, although the robot revolution will create 97 million jobs worldwide, it would also eliminate an equal number of low-skill, low-value professions. The new situation puts enormous strain on the skills landscape. The speed of technological advancements, as well as the rate at which professionals improve their skill sets, are already widening the talent gap. Furthermore, since the viral epidemic has accelerated the digital transformation of the global business ecosystem, the rate at which current employment positions and skill sets are becoming outdated has grown. As a result, organizations must discover solutions to bridge the talent gap in order to stay ahead of the curve. Companies may do this by either employing the right human resource with the proper capabilities or by educating their existing personnel to stay relevant. When particularly considering the Indian Space Research Organization's lack of expertise with long-duration crewed flight, it has been understood that the key technology for human spaceflight evolves only via trial and errors, and a humanoid de-risks human life while space travel capacity is being developed. Human spaceflight programs, whether in the United States or Russia, have been marred by mishaps caused by technical flaws. ISRO recognizes the duty it owes to the country and recognizes that, despite best efforts, human space travel is always a dangerous business and technology is never completely foolproof due to the vagaries of spaceflight. So it's great work that they have done. So in fact, this isn't something new, but at the same time, what ISRO has come up with is spectacular. Anyways, we've come to the end of today's episode. That's all we've got for today. Make sure to subscribe to our channel if you want to see more videos like this one. And while you're at it, enable post alerts so you don't miss any of our future uploads. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a like. We hope you had a good time watching the video and we'll see you again in the next one.